Back in 2016, Paul dropped 7.4 million on a whopping 16,000 square foot estate on a 1.3 acre property in Hidden Hills, California. The abode came with a number of lavish features, including a home movie theater and a resort style backyard with a stunning patio and outdoor kitchen and barbecue. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though we've done house tours of our own, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anybody. In 2020, Paul had sold his estate to famous musician French Montana for eight $8.4 million, clearing a $1 million profit despite being sold for well under the initial asking price. In September of 2019, Paul forked out $16 million for an estate that was previously owned by NBA star DeAndre Jordan. The estate offered 10,000 square feet of living and boasted seven bedrooms, and as you'd expect, included a number of luxe amenities, including a temperature controlled wine room, pool with waterfall features, and stunning views of the Pacific Ocean. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour that you do not want to miss. What's going on, everybody? I am Clyde Smith bringing you another exclusive house tour right here on Famous Entertainment. Now, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. And hey, if you want to, follow me on Instagram and let me know who you want to see featured next. All right, let's get into this video. In December of 2020, Paul unloaded his colossal mansion in the guard-gated community of Hidden Hills, deep within Los Angeles's San Fernando Valley. The 15,973 square foot estate that boasted seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms ended up going for 8.4 million, quite a bit lower than the original 9.5 million asking price. However, considering that Paul had originally dropped 7.4 million for the home back in 2016, he ended up coming out on top. The palace was snatched up by none other than Moroccan-born Grammy-nominated rapper and song songwriter French Montana. The manor was built in 1989 and sits on Ashley Ridge, one of the most coveted neighborhoods which includes celebrities such as Kris Jenner, Khloe Kardashian, and Jeffree Star. Upon entry, guests are greeted to a great room that spans over 4,000 square feet and includes motorized skylights, polished flooring, walls of glass, and an enormous indoor tree. Additionally, the great room comes with a number of lounging areas, one of which surrounds a massive stone fireplace. The gourmet kitchen comes with all the essential designer stainless steel appliances appliances, marble quartz countertops, hand-carved mahogany cabinetry, and six elegant bar stools surrounding a marble breakfast bar. Additional kitchen amenities include a butler's pantry with tons of storage space and a cozy breakfast nook to enjoy a meal with a view. The residence includes a number of formal living and dining spaces that include a profusion of plush furnishings, custom fittings, and fixtures, oversized windows, and additional fireplaces perfect for relaxation. One space in particular offers a retractable glass window, providing a seamless transition transition between the indoor and outdoor California lifestyle. Sounds nice, we don't know nothing about that here in Canada. Upstairs, the colossal master suite includes a sitting room with gray wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, fireplace, and stunning private patio with panoramic views. Additionally, the master suite comes with two spacious dressing rooms and walk-in closets worthy of bragging about, while a skylit ensuite bathroom includes granite countertops, a lounging space, granite soaking tub, and an enormous glass shower perfect for post-game relaxation. Needless to say, when you have a nearly 16,000 square foot palace there's going to be space for some dope features. Interior highlights include a mahogany paneled study, games room equipped with wet bar, private movie theater with leather furnishings, gym with steam shower, and wine cellar with sitting area. If you came here looking for a backyard with every resort style amenity possible, you came to the right place. The backyard includes a pool and spa offering multiple dining and lounging spaces, ideal for soaking in those California rays. While the Hooper's patio includes an outdoor kitchen with barbecue fireplace and separate music and TV center, perfect for hosting a pool party. Additional backyard features include a built-in children's playset and of course a basketball court to work on those skills. Not too shabby at all. I mean, this spot's fun for the entire family. And just when you thought Paul's real estate game couldn't get any better, he goes ahead and pulls a fast one. September of 2019, Paul upgraded to a Pacific Palisades estate that was previously owned by NBA star DeAndre Jordan for a whopping $16.1 million. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, $16 million on a house. I mean, when you make that kind of money, I guess, what else are you gonna do? You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. The three-story elevator-equipped villa comes with 10,000 square feet and boasts seven bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. The Cape Cod-style estate, built in 2014, is located in the highly coveted Riviera neighborhood, which is becoming a hub for all sports icons. The mansion's interior offers a combination of contemporary and traditional touches, detailed wood paneling, coffered ceilings, and hardwood floors throughout, keeping the theme of easy indoor and outdoor flow. The residence offers fleet wood sliders that perfectly complement the California lifestyle. 
Upon entry, the grand entrance includes a foyer with spiraling staircase, well-designed seating area, and an elegant chandelier soaring above. The estate comes with a number of living and dining areas dressed to the nines, which include plush furnishings, sleek fireplaces, and a wraparound balcony with stunning views. While the eating kitchen includes Sub-Zero and Wolf appliances, marble quartz countertops, and a massive marble island perfectly centered in the room. While the master suite comes with a sitting area, stumptuous fireplace, and private balcony with awe-inspiring views that stretch to the Pacific Ocean. Additional master suite features include a walk-in closet big enough to pose as the Clippers locker room, while the ensuite bathrooms offers his or her sinks, a spa-like master bath with a view, and a large glass shower perfect for relaxation. Probably the biggest flex in the mansion has to be Paul's lower level that features his very own wood-paneled home theater, complete with tiered seating. Equally impressive is the games and lounge room that includes a ping-pong table and a wet bar for good measure. So if you fancy a Chardonnay over a cocktail, you'll be happy to know that Paul's Dig does include a temperature-controlled wine room with a seating area. And judging by the size of that room, Paul really enjoys his collection of wine. I mean, low-key, probably the coolest spot in this place has to be the indoor spa area that boasts an indoor pool, home gym, and decked out with an abundance of massage tables. Additionally, the spa includes his or hers change rooms and a steam room right after Paul finishes his off-season workout, which always comes a little bit earlier. I mean, it is Paul George. The guy doesn't go to the finals or anything. Not too shabby, right? Well, this wouldn't be a house tour without taking a look at all the resort-style backyards that these celebrities and athletes call home. And to be honest, the exterior of this backyard is what you'd expect from an NBA all-star like Paul George. With three stories of entertaining, the exterior includes multiple lounging spaces and offers a swimmer's pool and spa combo with waterfall features. This backyard is built for entertaining, and it also includes an outdoor kitchen with a built-in barbecue, well-furnished fire pit, and is nicely touched with a wet bar for those that get thirsty. Bonus features include a putting green for those wanting to work on their swing, or if you get eliminated from the playoffs early and still have nothing else to do besides golf, I mean, hey, they don't call you Pandemic P for nothing. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right here. We got to take a quick look at Paul George's former mansion in Hidden Hills and the new digs in his Pacific Palisades. After seeing the two digs, what did you think? Was it everything that you'd expect and more out of Paul George? I just gotta say, despite the fact that the first spot was much bigger, and we're talking 16,000 square feet compared to 10,000 square feet, I still think his second spot would be considered an upgrade. Out of all of Paul George's features, which ones were your faves? You can even go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in another video.